Hello, BMHS. I'm Chris McLaughlin, and I'm here with Liam Henderson. It's great to be here. Nice to be here with you. So, Liam is here today to talk about the Standing Rock protests in North Dakota. Yeah, and for those who don't know, could you explain what the Standing Rock protests are all about? Um, so, basically, um, a Dakota Access Pipeline has been set to be drilled through um, Indian Reservation land in the Standing Rock Reservation in North Dakota, or North and South Dakota. And protesters uh, basically stood up to it, saying, like, this is our land that's been granted to us with treaties and stuff. And the construction builders sort of fought back. And eventually police got involved. And the protesters were taking a serious beating, um, getting you know water pressure cannons, uh, concussion grenades, rubber bullets. All other types of crowd control were used. And, and it's didn't really make much headlines. It was sort of getting smothered out by big news corporations, so it was sort of a surprise to me when I first heard about it. And, um, like, the severity of the whole situation, I sort of was like, well, I want to do something about it. So I started up a supply drive to head down there, and my sister and I plan on making a trip over the Christmas break. Um, and actually, right after we set up the supply drive, word got out that you know, the, the protesters had made some progress in that they, um, the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers denied them the easement for the Dakota Access Pipeline to keep construction, but in response, um, the Energy Transfer Partners, the ones who own it, said, we're basically going to go through with it anyway, and uh, once Obama's out of office, uh, they know that Trump has, uh, he's invested in their business and also in the project itself. So he's going to push for it to move forward as well. And um, due to blizzard conditions right now, the uh, DAPL is, no, is not able to go on with construction. But once the spring comes in, they, uh, they plan to resume. And uh, camps right now, uh, from what I hear, are doing pretty good with regular supplies. But right now, they're just trying to get food and firewood. So I may have to change this a little bit. But um, the protesters who are out there are in tents. TPs, camps, um, they're up against like negative degree weather and blizzard conditions, so anything you can do to help really would help. And how long is the supply drive open for? The supply drive is I'm going to be collecting until the 23rd of December, and then my sister and I plan on going down around noon Christmas Day. That's when we start to drive. And what are some objects people could donate? Um, right now I'm asking for like hand warmers, first aid kits, um, but mostly food and firewood is uh, what are in high demand right now. All right. Well, it sounds like a great cause. Thank you for being here with us today, Absolutely. Liam. Absolutely. Again, great to be on the show. Thank you. And this is Kristen Laughlin signing off.